it's time to say goodbye to all of this. Elton John's collection of weird and wacky. If you want some crazy glasses, well, there are more than 30 pairs for sale. These are quite ludicrous, these ones. Interesting, they do make you sneeze. Elton's made millions and spent millions. And in doing so, his four-story mansion became almost unlivable because of his collection. So, out it goes. It had become less of a home, more of a warehouse, really. And uh, having been married now for four, just over four years, it's, we really never had really much of a home to sit in. He wore those giant boots in the movie Tommy. And there's plenty of fake jewellery, but plenty of the real thing as well. And this is old Cartier. Um, and I say, with jewellery, I, I, I bought mostly old jewellery. and I still have some left, but not much. He's ridding the house of 20 years of memories because it's time, he says, to grow up. And perhaps disappointingly for fans, he wants to get a little more serious as well. When you get to, as I say, 40, it's, it's good to start again and give yourself other goals. I don't, maybe I'll collect other things uh, when I start, if I start collecting again, but they won't be the same sort of things that I collected in, in, uh, in this instance. Elton's not broke, but he does have a football team to support, so the $8 million the auction is expected to bring in will take the sting out of saying goodbye to the old life. How wonderful life is while you're in the world. I'm Robert Penfold reporting for Graham Kennedy's news show. Oh, God, he's got more sh shoes than Imelda Marcos, more glasses than Dame Edna, and more Steinways than you'd, you'd find in Double Bay or East St Kilda. <laughs>